Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Real Legend of Gaming. We are here with Shadow Gun Legend, folks. And yes, this is a new title that we have not seen on our channel so far. But, folks, I played the tutorial to the game and I like it a lot so far. It reminds me a lot of Destiny, which is one of my favorite games on a console. And to play something like this on a mobile was pretty sick. So I said, let's bring it to the channel. We'll do a review and first impressions and we'll see what you guys think. All right. So we're going to jump right into some objectives, play some campaign, and we'll see some of the features afterwards. All right. So let's check it out, folks. All right, cool. So now we're jumping into our campaign mission. All right, cool. We're jumping right out that ship. Now, if you look at the screen, on the top right-hand side, you have your three weapons. To the left, where you see that triangle that's yellow, that's your objective point. And, uh, you know, the game is pretty smooth. You're going to find that it has a uh, double joystick action. You know, the left-hand side will be to uh, run, to maneuver your character, while the right-hand side will be where you move your cursor which will pretty much aim your weapon. Uh, the game does have an auto fire. So wherever you aim your cursor at, it's gonna start shooting. Obviously only if it's an enemy, not you know friendly fire. A lot of the stuff is touchscreen, right? It's a mobile game. So whenever you have an objective point, you'll see that gear icon, you'll tap on it and you'll be able to um, go for your objective. And everything's pretty straightforward, easy to understand. Uh, you really don't get lost in this game but there is a lot of action and it starts off pretty slow but i've seen videos of higher level gameplay and it gets pretty intense now what i also do like that is there is a social space where you can meet other you know uh, soldiers that you become friends with and you guys can do missions together as well there's multiplayer and there are campaign missions as well All right, so we just unlock the power lock. So we have to use the code, and this is pretty cool as well. So it tells you what the code is, and it has, you know, some of, uh, I don't want to say a puzzle, but, you know, it's not always where you're just running up to a point and clicking the, the gear. You know, you have to do also use some strategy in there as well. So right here, you have to look for the correct codes, which would be 451. So right there, we found four. And then we'll get five right there. And now we're going to look for one. So you would think it's a number order, but it, it actually wasn't. And one is right over here. Cool. All right, so power lock released. We can continue forward with the objective. And we'll tap the gear icon right there. And it's going to single us where to go. All right there, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to act, access the mainframe. I'm just going to look around. But we locate the plans again on the same computer. So we'll go into that terminal. Alright, so now we gotta find a way to our operators. Again, following the cursors. And right there, some action. And uh, what I also did like is that the enemies are for the most part at the same level as you are. So you're not at a disadvantage. So right there, we'll be able to take these out with no problem. Now, uh, just a best advice, a tip that I recommend. When aiming, try to stay locked in one position instead of like moving around a lot. It will help with your accuracy. I made that adjustment between um, the first objective and this one here. And I started to aim a little bit better. Because if not, you're just going to be hit firing like crazy. 
and you are scored at the end of the campaign. Uh, you'll get a you know fame score, but you can unlock rewards, usually a gear or weapons, and some currency that you will need to purchase other weapons and gear as well. Now, so far, from what I've looked at in the game, it appears that the in-game rewards is what you use to purchase your items from the store. And if you wanted to purchase items with real life money, in other words, this game appears to be free to play, the pay to win aspect is not there in the early game. I don't know how it is later on at, at the later stages. So if there's someone who has played the game so far, feel free to drop a comment down below. So I, you know, we could all be on the same page and have the right information. But for my impressions is that this game is free to play the purchases are solely for customizations, just like uh, PUBG Mobile and Fortnite Mobile. And you see that we just switched up the weapons. Uh, you know, try to see how the pistol is. I wanted to see that shotgun was as well, but it wasn't um, shooting off any shots. So I wasn't sure if I had it to reload or find more ammo for it. And we're going to go with the rest of the objective right there. We're going to click on that. And it says take the elevator to the ground level. And off to the next objective we are. Here we go. Hit that gear. And let's see what we have. More action. There we go. Gotcha. Oh man, shoot us off right there, all right? So that's why exactly what I'm saying. Stay in one spot and just get your shots off. Or eventually, like I think in the case right here, the shotgun would have been a more suitable weapon to use. Because at that point you just would have ran up on the opponent and just shot from the hip and get your kill. So I was just testing out the shotgun right there. Now uh, you have to grab the damn plans, which are located right over here. Here we go. And that was pretty much it. So now you got an incoming transmission. You know, you'll get some information from your comm link. And then you'll leave the arena. And that's it. Mission over. So mission success. You see how many kills you have, how many headshots, your fame. And you'll earn medals, which will, you know, help your score go higher as well. All right, so now at this point, you return home. You have your little celebration. You are a hero for that moment. Now, what I also do like is that upon completing missions... Uh, you earn a contract, right, where you earn um, currency, which will allow you to get more items as well, like shop items. You know, it's in-game rewards. And the game also lets you know when you picked up gear that is stronger than what you currently have. So you actually have the ability to put equip best gear and it'll put on the best items for you. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, this is another player in the game. You can check out their armor. You can check out their power. So you see all these items here are available to be equipped. And that's basically how your equip gear section would look. And then on the bottom right of that section would have said equip best gear. You also can get friend requests. We saw that we were just in the social space and someone sent us a request. So you can, you know, eventually build up a squad and people to play with. Now Slade is basically the guy who will give you your missions and tasks. So always go to him upon completing the mission in order to get your rewards and to pick up the next objective of mission as well. Basically, he will be your best friend because you will get your rewards and your experience in order to level up. So then you have um, another area, which is uh, behind this, where you will go to get your contracts. Contracts are, you know, based on the missions that you do. You can earn some money. Uh, you can also upgrade your skill tree. Uh, we got one skill point, so we decided to go with combat. But you can also upgrade agility, survival, and each item has a description. So you can go based off your 
and you know you can go based off your preferences for customization options all right so folks this is shadow gun legends overall i really enjoyed the game I thought it was a pretty cool shooter slash RPG. And I thought that the objectives were pretty straightforward. The game had some action to it. And I liked the social space. So in other words, I would recommend playing this game. And I would like to cover it on the channel based on the feedback that you guys give. So based on the number of likes that this video gets in the comments, then I will know if you guys want more of it in the future. But overall, I definitely recommend it. I can see the comparisons to Destiny. Uh, it's a little different, but it has some cool options. I like the gears that you can collect. I like the customizations of the skill tree. And the objectives are pretty smooth. I mean, again, the game is awesome. Controls are fluid. Everything is on point. So, appreciate all the support always, folks. I do plan on bringing more reviews to the channel so that we can really make this a true mobile gaming channel all right so other than that appreciate the support always peace out